everyone, so I have another Spa Spiders delivery today and it is my first male and female tarantula pair. Now I'm super excited, he's mature and she's mature, well, ready to go. So Luke was very helpful, informed me on what I was doing and everything, so yeah. Anyways, inside the box we got Spa Sticker, we got Bethany Spiders. We got Dave's little beastie, and oh my god, I don't know who the hell the sticker is. Of course we do, it's Scotty's. So yeah, I was very, very happy with the stickers. Thank you, Luke. Well, let's go. Whee! I know you guys miss and loved the pack and peanut thrown, so, you know. I was a little bit nervous, I'm not going to lie, just double making, double, yep, double making sure there's nothing in there, and that was very tedious, so, yeah, just get on the floor, pack the peanuts, I'll pick you up later, just shoot, scat, get off my grass, anyways, this is my Davis Pentalorus female, excuse the nails, and my mature male now luke was an absolute diamond he kept these back for me and said that they were put to one side for me and oh honestly i can't thank him enough he knows how nervous i am for this breeding and he was mega helpful i'm even in my pajamas so this is the males because they are dwarf species I didn't want to do anything massive. No, it's not. This is the female, sorry. My bad. My bad. So, I got my catch cup at the ready. Sorry, that's my phone going insane. My water. And a water dish. There we go. I know you guys can't say much, but don't worry, I zoom in and give you all a good look and them sexy pajamas. Now, I did upgrade her enclosure um, when it arrived later that day and then let her settle in for about two weeks, fed her up, and then I bred them. And that's at the end, so if you want to see how that goes. Oh, look at her. Keep watching if you want to see how the breeding went. Look at how beautifully chunky she is. She is beautiful. She is chunky compared to the little skinny male. Bless him. I didn't realise how much of a comparison size difference there was in male and female until I got a mature male and a female myself. But, yeah, it's kind of crazy. She was like, but I like my tissue. There she is. Like I said, they don't need a massive enclosure. They're just small. And there she is. Look at her hiding. She's gorgeous. I think the Davis Pantalora species, aka Tiger Rumps, are just phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. Phenomenal. And there's a better look at her. 
look at that carapace and those are oh, the fluff on the legs and our little fluffy butt as well now you can't really see because of the hair but she has a little love heart on her bum absolutely stunning now to set up the males again he didn't need anything spectacular or big so i just did a bra plus tub up popped in a water dish and then overflowed the water dish and kind of sprayed everything down now if you've never seen like the distinctiveness between a male and female like keep watching because it is so different he's so gangly looking <laughs> he's gangly there he is straight away you can see is like noodle arms <laughs> and he did not want to come out with that sleeping bag of tissue he was like, no, nah, -uh, not today, bud. I exposed the butt and all sorts, and nope, nah, he would not budge. So we took him on a ride. Whee! I hate doing that to them, but he wouldn't get out. So after I made the new guy a little bit dizzy, he eventually decided, you know what, I'm not going through that shit again. I want out. And out he got. Look at the difference tiny little booty skinny little gnarly legs he just yeah <laughs> he's gorgeous but yeah he's teeny anyways let's see how the breeding went so this is him going into her larger enclosure that I said I was going to put her into and I had to get Alex to help me Obviously, it was my first time breeding, and I was terrified like something was going to go wrong, she was going to eat him. So, you know, I needed that support, and Alex was there to help me out, so I appreciated it. And they just kind of, he just kind of sat there for a while, and I kind of waited. And wait, uh, did you see his leg move there? Oh, I was like, oh my God, you're going to get eaten. And he was like, hey, psst, psst. Hey, hot mama. <laughs> and she's like, oh my God, stop touching me. Sorry, I'm not going to narrate the whole thing. Watch his little feet twitch. So cute. <laughs> and let's speed it up because they were like this a while and then eventually eventually she took notice and look how big and beautiful her booty is you can tell she's well fed up she was like okay okay I hear you tippy tapping and he's just wanting to get straight in there bless him he is wanting a piece of that action Okay, I'm going to touch you a little bit and see if I can face you. 
And yeah, she was quite receptive of him, I must say. She's tapping there for him. I sped this bit up again. Look at that tapping for him. She's like, yeah, it's okay, come on. Come on in. And my phone kind of stopped for some reason. But they were like this a while and then finally stuff started to happen. Look at the size difference in them two. It is crazy. Absolutely crazy. I can't get over how pretty they are. Such pretty tarantulas. Oh, here we go. We've got some action. Now he was well in there, like my husband said, like he was well in there. But it didn't last long, <laughs> so fingers crossed. And sadly there was an injury. Yep, as you can see, he's missing something in the form of a padapalp. Padapalp? Padapalp. So it came off inside of her, but it's fine. We retrieved it. And yes, so that was how it went, guys. Let me know what you think and could I have done anything differently? Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching, everyone, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye now, stay awesome.